The NFL and collegiate football programs are facing growing pressure regarding head injuries. Right now, there is a new movie out in theaters. It's called Concussion, tackling this very controversial topic. It stars Will Smith. Meantime, a new poll shows that most Americans believe football teams need to do more to protect players. Research has shown players who have sustained multiple concussions on the field can develop a serious degenerative brain disease later in life known as CTE. Neurologist Dr. Andrew Russman says the difficulty with CTE is that right now there's no way to diagnose it in the living. He says many players are concerned about the long-term impact of playing a collision sport. We see people who've had either multiple concussions or some concern after uh, playing uh, collision sports for a period of time where they're very worried that they're going to develop this problem. The Health Day Harris poll shows Americans believe more steps must be taken to make football safer. Dr. Russman says leagues have begun cutting back on practices in an effort to reduce the number of cumulative head collisions. He says the human brain wasn't built for a repetitive collision and that more research needs to be done to figure out a way to diagnose players with CTE while they're still alive. Research is going to help us to understand how to diagnose this problem in the living. I am convinced we're going to be able to diagnose it in the living. We're going to be able to identify people that are susceptible to later life problems. A new study which includes researchers from the Cleveland Clinic is underway to try and determine a way to diagnose CTE and learn why some players get it and others don't.